Hashigani, the favourite and the home favourite here. But you can't underestimate Sifa Isa from Egypt. So, final, the minus 80 kilogram division. Chigani not got his usual height advantage that he has. He's very, very tall for this category. He says the one who's moving around. Goes up for the headshot on the counter. Chigani slipped it. It's good movement, good speed and timing, good control. Tries a hook kick to the body, comes off the front leg. Nice little exchange there, combination, a little flurry of activity here. Former Iranian coach now, coach of Azerbaijan, had some tremendous results. This is a really good match between these two athletes who've worked their way through to the final. It's very level playing field right now. With the first point going to Archigani in that exchange. Crowd's very pleased about that. The combination, we've not got the right camera angle there, but there's a couple of headshot attempts which were just slipped very well by the Egyptian. Pace quite slowed down now. Referee wants more activity. I don't think she's going to get it in this last five seconds. I think they'll just be quite measured. More or less one for one kicking for that last ten seconds or so. This is looking like a very, very promising encounter. Archigani definitely not getting it all his own way like he has done for pretty much all of today. Sefer Issa from Egypt, looking for the counters, looking for the headshots. You can see him there just looking at the monitor mid-kick, getting a bit of a risky manoeuvre for the players. Second round, about to get underway. Milad Begi Hachigani from Azerbaijan versus EF Isa from Egypt. A nice head attempt there by Hachigani. Just short. Referee actually looked to see if there was going to be a video review claimed by the coach, but there wasn't. Sensible call on his part. Players are working the clinch. That's another aspect of the game that's very much underplayed when the athletes move into the clinch. There's a headshot, but it's no contact with the actual foot. So the Egyptian, he touched the head guard, but it was more his calf muscle and the back of his leg that scored against, that touched against the head guard. So that is not a scoring technique. The accuracy isn't there. The, the, the impact needs to be with the sensor sock, with the foot. Oh, Crescent kick round the back of the head! They're in the clinch, but was he holding or not? The referee's letting play. So there's a headshot by Archigani. They were clinching. The, uh, that just proves the point I was making before about the athletes working while they're in the clinch. There's so much more to the game than just standing off each other and kicking and punching. And Archigani there proved it, the, the, they're in the clinch, he came out, Crescent kicks round, the kick more or less hit with the back of the head. Oh, 
pace has slowed down now as he's got more tactical. Referee wants more action. Kyongo now. Referee hasn't called. Referee called Kalio to give the Kyongo against the Egyptian. Now she's going to warn. I believe she's going to warn Azerbaijan for attacking after Kalio. But it's only Kyongo. He said he didn't hear the call. Sometimes the referee could have given a Gamjin or a full point deduction for that. But again, good refereeing. And Taekwondo is one of the unique sports where you've got a female centre referee with two quite large minus 80 kilogram athletes. So it shows the skill. Well, nice exchange of kicks are coming in by Ashigani. The East has got no answer to it. And the headshot, there's a body shot and the headshot scored there. And Ashigani is really opening this scoring up now. If he can get one more headshot, that will be the end of the match. And Issa went from being almost at a tight score to being nine points behind. He can't really accept that this has happened to him. Archie Garn has really been smart with this. The complete turnaround. They went into the match, nothing to call between them. And then Archie Garn finishes this round with a nine point lead. There's the headshot, double look, pull it back to the face shot, goes to the action, watch this, brings it back, the foot didn't touch the floor, headshot scores there, extends through again, you've got to admire the leg control, that was a kick in, there was lots of action up there, but it didn't score, just got the Kyongo. So I am I'm quite surprised at this now. It went in very, very tight and then it's a 9-0. Theoretically, the, the Azeri athlete could score a headshot and this would be the end of the match. So if he said we'll have different ideas about that, but really it's probably quite dumbfounded now to be in this situation, 9-0 down. He's got some great attacking movements, he's got great foot speed. That was almost it. If Milad scores a headshot, then that's the end of the match because of the 12-point gap difference. Issa still coming in with the headshots. Actually got him measuring it, very much so again. Moving through, tries to counter kick as his opponent moved around him, showing great control and composure. Nice step through reverse attempt by the Egyptian. Still very much in this match. Simple body shot attempt, good cover. Achigani is not going to be too active right now, he doesn't need to be. He's just looking for that big shot. Nice from the first and that was it, he got it there. In that exchange, Achigani scored the headshot to give him a 12 point lead over a great Egyptian player. What a match. Absolutely a demonstration in, in pinpoint accuracy by uh, Milad Begi Archigani of Azer Azerbaijan, formerly of Iran. That was a, an education in modern Taekwondo. Strategic, tactical, skillful, accurate and fast, phenomenally fast with combinations off the front leg.